Breakfast, Revelation 9. And the fifth messenger sounded, and I saw a star from the heaven, which had fallen to the earth. And the key to the pit of the deep was given to him. And he opened the pit of the deep, and smoke went up out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun was darkened also the air because of the smoke of the pit. And out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth. And the authority was given to them as the scorpions of the earth possess authority. And it was said to them that they shall not harm the grass of the earth or any green matter or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of Elohim upon their foreheads. And it was given to them that they should not kill them, but to torture them for five months. And their torture was like the torture of a scorpion when it stings a man. And in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it, and they shall long to die, but death shall flee from them. And the locusts looked like horses prepared for battle, and on their heads were crowns like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. And they had hair like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses running into battle. And they have tails like scorpions and stings, and in their tails is the authority to harm men five months. And they have over them a sovereign, the messenger of the pit of the deep, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Apollyon. The first woe is past. See, two woes are still coming after this. And the sixth messenger sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden slaughter place, which is before Elohim, saying to the sixth messenger who had the trumpet, Release the four messengers, those having been bound at the great river Euphrates, and the four messengers, those having been prepared for the hour and day and month and year, were released to kill a third of mankind. And the number of the armies of the horsemen was two hundred million, and I heard the number of them. And this is how I saw the horses in the vision, and those who sat on them, having breastplates of fiery red and hyacinth blue and sulfur yellow, and the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire and smoke and sulfur. A third of mankind was killed by these three plagues, by the fire and the smoke and the sulfur which came out of their mouths. For the authority of the horses is in their mouth and in their tails, and their tails are like serpents having heads and with them they do harm. And the rest of mankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship the demons and idols of gold and of silver and of brass and of stone and of wood, which are neither able to see nor to hear nor to walk. And they did not repent of their murders, nor of their drug sorceries, nor of their whoring, nor of their thefts. And I saw another strong messenger coming down from the heaven, robed in a cloud and a rainbow on his head, and his face was like the sun, and his feet like columns of fire. And having in his hand a little book opened, and he placed his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and cried with a loud voice, and when the lion roars, and when he cried out, seven thunders spoke their sounds. And when the seven thunders spoke their sounds, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from the heaven saying to me, seal up what the seven thunders spoke. 
and do not write them. And the messenger whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land lifted up his right hand to the heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heaven and what is in it, the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it, that there shall be no further delay. But in the days of the sounding of the seven messenger, seventh messenger, when he is about to sound, the secret of Elohim shall also be ended, as he declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard out of the heaven spoke to me again and said, Go take the little book which is opened in the hand of the messenger standing on the sea and on the earth. And I went to the messenger and said to him, Give me the little book. And he said to me, Take and eat it, and it shall make your stomach bitter, but it shall be as sweet as honey in your mouth. And I took the little book out of the messenger's hand and ate it, and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. And he said to me, You have to prophesy again concerning many peoples and nations and tongues and sovereigns. <laughs> 